Hi, I'm Brian Freer, tutoring high school biology. Today's topic, viruses. What is a virus? Well, you may already be very intimate with one if you've ever had the common cold. Just kidding. There's no such thing as the common cold. What we refer to as the cold is actually caused by one of thousands of different types of viruses. That's why there's no such thing as a cure. As for the virus itself, here it is. This is a diagram of one. They're made up of two main parts. Genetic material surrounded by a protein coat. The genetic material could be either DNA or RNA. If it's RNA, we actually call it a retrovirus, but not because it was discovered in the 80s. More on that later. Alright, now, the virus will latch onto a cell. What cell it latches onto depends on the protein coat. If the protein coat does not match certain membrane proteins, the virus will just bounce off. However, if it does match, we can either enter the lysogenic cycle or the lytic cycle. In the lytic cycle, the virus will release its DNA, which will take over the cell and cause it to produce thousands upon thousands of copies of this original virus, all filled with the same genetic material, until the cell gets filled and bursts. Kaboom! Releasing thousands of viruses into the surroundings. If it's a retrovirus, the RNA will first make a DNA version of itself, which will then take over the cell. The alternative is the lysogenic cycle. In this case, our DNA joins with the cell's DNA, and it'll wait there until some moment after which it'll decatch and go into the lytic cycle. What this means is that the virus's DNA could be replicated along with the cell many times over, and you could have lots of different cells all infected without even knowing it. Now, this also causes a certain amount of mutation because in detaching from the cell's DNA, it can bring along some of that DNA with it. As a result, viruses are highly susceptible to mutation because of that and because it replicates itself thousands of times. And that's why there's so many different types of virus. All right, to recap, viruses consist of genetic material surrounded by a protein coat. Genetic material is either DNA or RNA. If it's RNA, we call it a retrovirus. The protein coat will then match up to a certain cell type's membrane proteins, and then the virus will inject its genetic material. If it's DNA, it could enter either the lysogenic or the lytic cycle. In the lytic cycle, the cell's machinery is taken over, and thousands of viruses are produced until the cell bursts. In the lysogenic cycle, the DNA will enter join with the cell's DNA, and then after a certain period of time, enter the lytic cycle. If RNA is injected, it will make a DNA copy first and then go into either the lysogenic or the lytic cycle. Alright, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Pierre. See you next time.